youngster who plays with the, the Young Lions. Trapped his uh, opportunity and really gave him an op a chance to start with the Lions. Alongside the very experienced Daniel Bennett, as we see. Very interesting run by Baha Abdurrahman. Singapore have to defend this one. Could this be the first goal? Yes. A beautiful work goal by Jordan. Abdul Adib, we picked this man out earlier. And Jordan come away with a very early goal here at the Jalambasa Stadium. And well, they've got so many bodies forward here. Now, the, the marking in the defence is not good. Nobody's getting close to people. There's no communication. And he finishes it off nicely. He's standing on the far post unmarked. Still got to finish it, but uh, that's all too easy, to be honest. It's a good run. He's a good player, but you've got to pick them up. When they're making runs like that, you have to get tight and mark the man. Abdul Adib. We saw a bit of magic early on in this game. Charlie Shak. Looks for the run of uh, Hafiz Rahim. Has a defender in front of him. Just trying to twist and turn. In the end, drew out another defender. And uh, won a corner in the process. Yeah, it was good. The ball spread out wide. And the, the thing is, he gets the defender in the box as quickly as possible. So he can't afford to dive in the defender there, but does well and, uh, of course, support. But the corner, Alex could. Alex got the jump on uh, the defence here. He's a bigger player than anyone that uh, is on the Jordanian side. The delivery is good. They could win it. Charlie Shak. Oh, that's a beautiful opportunity for Singapore. And it was Shafwan Barudin. Could have been a hero tonight. What a chance. He's just not picked up. He's made his run. He's met the ball inside the six-yard box and completely missed the target. Should have been the equaliser. Great, great opportunity. He'll have a sleepless night about that one. Well, have a look at that one. He waits for a thing. Well, meanwhile, he's just given away a free kick. Singapore have to defend this one. He's one just lining up his wall in his defensive line in front of him. Free kick taken. There's an opportunity there for Jordan. They make it count. Quite a few white bo uh, shirts there. Not quite sure who actually got a touch to that one. Basim Fati is claiming it. Hopefully we get a replay on this one. But that's very, very poor defending by Singapore. Start with giving away that free kick. In the end, Singapore had to pay the price. Yeah, it was a bad free kick to give, or a silly free kick to give away. And then some good runs. A couple in offside positions, but... Yep, it's the, uh, it is Basim Fati, isn't it? Well, not quite sure because it looks as though the defender, Anas Baniyasin, he got a touch to the one. It could have been also Shadan Sulaiman who was in front of him. Late in the piece. It'd be ridiculous if they brought someone on now and then immediately someone got injured and you're down to 10 men for 25 minutes or so. It's a terrible throw in. Yeah, you don't really expect that at this level. <laughs> <laughs> Just laughing at each other, I'm, I'm sure. Something they'll be talking about for a long time. But I think you could be wrong there, Jamie, because I believe it's... Uh... Oh, Karol Nizam. Bad. Just look as though all the Richards are static at the moment, no, no real movement there. Yeah, absolutely, and Fazrul's finished his game. Won a few headers there and uh, just looks as if he's run out of um, ideas, really. And so a change of personnel. This is brave, though. Half an hour to go, and that's the last throw of the dice from Singapore. I thought he had. I, th I thought he'd gotten away there. And I think he should have done better, you're right. He kept his eye on the ball. There was a goal there waiting for him. Singapore just going to sleep yet again. Ahmed Hayel with a shot with his left foot. Five players there. But the Jordan number 10 still managed to pull the trigger. And it's goal number three for, for Jordan. 
And it looks very, very bad for Singapore at the moment, Jamie. Well, you'd have to say that's definitely the end of the story. Uh, having criticised Ahmed Hale just moments before for not getting his head on the ball. Uh, Dan Bennett stands him up one way, could have done with some support, but doesn't look like the sort of shot that should, sc should, should score from. The defence a little bit caught naive there. Well, Jamie, it was four against two. Have a look at this. He skips past two players in between when he shouldn't really been given the opportunity to do that. But what a finish with his left back. Yeah, it was a great finish. Juma Jantan probably came too far inside. Should have stayed out there and uh, could have held him up. But uh, I say that's story over for Singapore. It's on Friday and they've got to play this big match. What, what, what do you make of that? I think if they weren't three goals down, they'd still have some running in the legs. I think that takes a lot out of players. But I'm surprised that's not a yellow card. There's a free kick. Culprit there was uh, Bashe Albani, the captain. Foul on that. Uh, Karun is up. Seems to be okay at the moment. Quickly taken free kick. Charlie Shark. Will that count? The referee says a bit of confusion. Well, referee is pointing he's towards the halfway mark. He's given it. He's saying he's given the goal. Well, Jolini yeah. players are protesting. I think what the players are saying is that if you've indicated that you've got to wait for me to blow the whistle, then you have to wait till the blow, he blows the whistle. I don't know what the lines will have to do with it in that case. Yeah, it must be said that... Uh, onside. Yeah, onside. It was onside. Very clever play by uh, Harris Harun. It's really a question. In these situations, you're allowed to take it quickly unless the referee said, you've got to wait for me to blow the whistle. He's saying, I didn't say I had to wait. You had to wait. So what Singapore is the allowed saying? to take it. Oh, so he's... Call for a foul. Oh, that's really bizarre because these fans have something to cheer about. <laughs> that's really quite unbelievable, but have a look at this. He managed to stay on site. Yeah. And even put the ball in the back of the net, but the referee thinks otherwise. After consultation with his assistant referee, so Seems Singapore... To, must have given offside then. Yeah. Strange, strange decision by the Korean referee, Choi Mung Yong. I think Khalil Zaid's actually caught the eye down on the right flank. He's, I think, the youngest player. I think he's only 20 years of age. Had a very good game. Karol is up with an opportunity. Shot on goal there. No one really picking up the second ball. Nevertheless, did well enough to put himself in that situation. Well, he hit the target, which is what we always say got the position it's a decent enough strike across the goalkeeper's body Alex not quite able to get onto the, re the rebound this is a lost cause as we see another opportunity the defensive line breached there well it was uh, Shari Abu Hashash who actually got past the defenders he's one Mahmoud quick to be off his line and there you go that's the final whistle Jordan, very comfortable in the end. Three goals to the good against Singapore. Well, how do you sum up this game, Jamie? Well, Singapore were in it for quite a long time. Once the second goal had gone in, you had to feel that it was too much for Singapore to, to come back from that. Uh, Jordan with a better side overall. Um, more creative, better defensively. Physically, they were very back from that. Uh, Jordan with a better side overall. Um, more creative, better defensively. Physically, they were very imposing, and they'll be delighted. With 3-0 away from home, that's a good result. Singapore can keep their heads up. They, uh, they, they acquitted themselves as well as one might have expected. It's a shame that rather disputed goal wasn't allowed to stand, give them some consolation. But not a, not a bad performance from Singapore, but Jordan were just a much stronger side. There you go, that's the confirmation of the score. Final score, Jordan 3, Singapore 0. First goal scored in the 10th minute by Abdullah Deep. Very aggressive right from the word go, Jordan. On the 54th minute was Anas Bani with a delightful 
a free kick. He got to the end of that one. And on the 63rd minute, it was Ahmad Hayel who went on a mazy run and pulled the trigger with his left pack and left his one in no man's land. It was an exciting match. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be for Singapore. Ubawa of this competition nevertheless gave themselves, uh, gave a very good account of themselves rather. But the fans would have been disappointed. Would love to see.